Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are going to have a little chat with Lilia Hagen. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Name's Caledorn, Captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't kill him. I didn't ask. Mm -hmm. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. They're always... Just like in the serials. Mm -hmm. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I don't have a nav key, but I... Can I still take the job? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. I take it Sublight isn't strictly a salvage operation. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. What kinds of other sectors does Sublight pursue, other than salvage and shipping? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. So, you're a company of bureaucratic pirates. Your words, not mine. You're very honest about Sublight's criminal side. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like mm -hmm. to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon. But I'll settle for being the most organized one. Back to my other questions. I think there was Ask. Any. I have nothing to hide. Well, obviously. I'm leaving. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Ooh, well, if I were followed on my way out, it would be by your goons. Nice office. a terminal here. Messages from El Hagen. Subject don't run. We lost another contractor to a UDL gunship. This is your daily reminder that legitimate businesses don't run from the authorities. And that is what we are. Stay calm. Present your papers. If you get tangled up in the courts, I will personally bail you out. Anyone seen Hawthorne lately? I could use some reliable help. LH. Then we have subject Fallbrook shipments. Unlike most of you sprats, Catherine is bringing Sublight a consistent income. From today, until I say so, you're to treat her as an extension of my desk. Speaking of which, Tobias, order an extension for my desk. LH. And then there's a list of uh, shipments. Um, liquor, vodka, erotica, generic and erotica exotic, uh, space cake surprise. I don't know what this is, but it was on last month's order list, so either track some down or do your best in the kitchen. Uh, black hole, Holcomb, signed Tosball poster. P.S. Tobias, where are we with that desk extension? And then the final one, this week in salvage. 
Um, my scanner says the Mardets impounded a freelancer ship after the captain misbehaved. The crew dropped so many bits, bits at Vera's place that they can't afford to lift the impound. Whoever gets me the salvage rights gets to sit quietly in my office and watch a professional work. One of ours had an altercation with one of theirs. Lost another contractor. Scrapped the ship, dedicated a tenth of the salvage to funeral expenses. I take care of my people. A little sprat told me that a crate of spoiled cystipork ended up at the bottom of a monarch canyon. Let's see how much we can sell. Speaking of which, no one eat at Auntie Cleo's stall until I say so. Something in the kitchen's gone bad. The next time one of us finds an abandoned ship and decommissions it, they had better dispatch a ground team to the debris field before the marauders have their turn. Just because we're salvagers doesn't mean we have to be scavengers. Yeah. Kinda like her. Uh, Spratwurst. Uh, let's check out the armory. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Let's see what you got just for sale. Officer's spine. Hmm. Heavy. And this is light. This one looks interesting. Gives plus five to long guns. Goggles. Nah. Repair all equipped. Sell drunk. And uh, we can probably sell some stuff. Oh, yikes. Yeah, we can sell a lot of stuff at the moment. I don't think we need that um, flamethrower because I'm not going to be running around using a flamethrower anyway. Let's sell that. Also, we can sell light machine gun. Another flamethrower, revolver, impact hammer, tactical shotguns, ultra pistol, light assault rifle, revolver. Let's keep a spare assault rifle. Shotgun we don't need. Sword of shotgun we definitely don't need. As for armor, welder's goggles. Plus 15 engineering, wow. Keeping that around. Can sell these uh, work gears. Also, we have a lot of stuff here that I don't need anyway. Um, sell that. Sell these. Definitely sell the uh, the alcoholic beverages. Ah, we have way too much stuff here now.
go. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Uh, sure. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Yeah. No. Thanks. All the same. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists in H12. Report any sightings in your local border. The medical bay. We haven't visited that yet. Are you listening to me, Emperu? You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Could have fooled me. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Yes. See, Emperu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Hello there. Uh, hello. Uh, June Lei called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. The records say, have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Let me see what you've got for sale. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Uh... No, you don't have anything I need. Use the terminal messages to Captain Irian. Where are my Automex? I need a status update, Irian. I know you boasted about the Skilla short, Scylla, Scylla, ah, shortcut. But could you maybe venture through a pocket of space that isn't infested with pirates? You know, pirates, the ones who love cargo and hate rules. Here in Medbay, we've got blunt tools, watered down meds, long shifts, and shaky hands. Don't let me down. Logs, staff shortage. I'm at my wits end coordinated with coordinating with any authority outside of Groundbreaker. The board won't dispatch a surgeon unless Junlei agrees to share a third of all docking revenue. And Spacer's Choice won't send supplies unless we make an exclusive deal to use their products. Products, products. No thank you. I've seen enough shoddy needles breaking off in patients' arms. I need to chat with Junlei about this, but she has problems of her own. Some of us are growing concerned about the cost of Groundbreaker's independence. I'm guessing that going in here won't help. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Uh, we are told... Me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. 
You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Oh, I'll be fine. So, Scylla. We can just pick that up. Interesting. Okay, so then you have the bell's shells. I think I might have been there though. Yes. I also have Didn't been the in there. Office used to be in the docking bays? So yes, we're leaving. I've seen you limping a bit. Are you all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. What's up here? Nothing. That's what's up here. Yeah, you climb up when I climb down. That's a good, 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 good idea. Probably should uh, pick up that holographic shroud before we go on to the station again. Hey, you got a second? I was kind of had. Yeah, I got really up. We probably all had a feeling that he would want to come on board. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Okay, Felix. Oh, no, no. Temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? You're all over the place. Just be yourself. Sure, I can be myself. I can be myself better than anybody else in the system. You're looking for crew. I'm looking for a way off this port. So we've got something in common already. And yeah, I know I came on a little strong, but honestly, when was the last time anybody was so eager to throw in with you? That's got to count for something, right? I haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. <coughs> Mock apple pie and a tripacale crust? Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. What's your biggest flaw? The foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Perfect, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. We'll see you back in the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look oh. at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Be nice to one another. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thank you. 
Okay, <laughs> so let's go to the relay station. Wait, I probably should take a look at this Felix guy. So he uses a grenade launcher and a toss ball stick. Uh, doesn't strike me as too impressive. Let's grab Parvati and... Uh, the Vicar. Slices, dices, and quarter rices. I'll admit, the station's in better shape than I expected it to be. Captain, this place is supposed to be empty, yeah? Because I got the queerest feeling. Yeah, I don't think it's empty either. Security Auto Mechanical Manual. The instructions printed in this manual have been covered with uh, by m a mostly illegible scroll. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through from the force of whoever wielded the pen. A one section describing the correct procedures for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters within the text are circled as though the owner were trying to discover some message hidden within. Hmm. Phrase journal. A beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there. Her eyes so full of the emotions I know she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a, per as a second mouth began screaming, screaming. When I woke I was scared. The dreams are so real now and this time I recognized a face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. So I guess we're dealing with uh, some kind of psychopath. Lovely. Auto mechanical home security control system. Display unit status. Right, so there are six mechanical set to patrol designated areas and they are set to kill on site. And the valid owner is only Alexander J. Frey, whoever that is. Update security routines. Begin charging cycle. Oh, that's useful. Um. Kind of suspect that I don't want to go in. Here we go. Don't mess with us. But as, us as usual, there is always a handy way to go around. Is 
there a way for me to turn this thing off? Don't need a pickaxe. Phrase journal, escape. I've had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no, need the gifts that I can give. All it would take is a few moments with the blade, a bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today. An old friend from school who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright, oh no. Not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end his pain and that he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not, not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. Yeah, this this dude obviously is fairly... Uh... That door locked. No, so why can we? Anything else in here? The vicar wants me to show him how to pick a lock. Oh, that's cute. Okay, here we go. Our skills are unrivaled. Doesn't exactly give us much uh, challenge, but uh, it is useful. Okay, another journal. Uh, the source. The whispers have a source, and I've found it. Found it! Five exclamation marks. I have taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It is smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. The Whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer fighters docking there, bringing real people from Byzantium, I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free, free! As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the Whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them, alone, lonely, needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the ether and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not. Not. I am not this foul thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they and I have defeated them, them, them. I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the Whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much, especially Delilah. Janitor? Oh, he's even got a duster. Hey, Vicar, you're in the way. Hey, 
way, so we can't shoot him. Can. But he doesn't do anything. Except make him walk around confused. Here we go. Uh, that's the last of them. Yes. Oh, poor fella. You think he did it to himself, Captain? That's real sad. It's a journal. Phrase journal. Forgive me. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop. Not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demeaning I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson. Beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End, end. Forgive me, Delilah. Oh well. Activate relay transmitter. Routing power to transmit relay array. Blah blah blah. Ping has been received. There we go. Um. Yeah. Nicely done. Um. Okay. Seriously, jumping down that little distance shouldn't damage you. Um, already read the dream. Okay, so I guess that's all there is to this station then. That was pretty easy. So, I'm sorry, I cannot answer that question. Let's grab this uh, holographic shroud. Are there any messages for Caledorn? From e. Esther Blaine. Caledorn, this is just to let you know that I've given out the rest of uh, that you-know-what to the you-know-whos. Sorry for the secrecy, you never really know who's reading these things. I appreciate you giving me the time of day. You risked your neck heading into that community center, and I'm grateful. But I'd also appreciate it if you never told another soul about our business. I like my job, and I should like to keep it. Search term SAM. First SAM results. Experimental note OI-695. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance automechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat-capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. AH. Second SAM result. Experimental note OI-696. Removal of factory standard part SUDS steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. Progress is set back. Progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. AH. Third sum result. Experimental note OI697. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But, good news. 
I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an asset steeper I can... Uh, filch? The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop, pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. A.H. Right. Make yourself at home, Captain. Thank you. That said, I think that's a good spot to end the episode. So uh, thank you all very much for uh, joining me and I will see you all next time.